from a process point of view, what is important is to overcome the continuing influence of a materialistic, reductionistic metaphysics with which science has largely identified itself in the West for centuries. What, uh, what the evolutionary the theory did was to say human beings are included in this world of matter in motion. Prior to that time, they could be thought of as totally separate, and human beings didn't care much how demeaning our theories were with respect to other animals. So, <laughs> <coughs> so Christians went along with it. Okay, now, um, conservative Christians have recognized that the way evolution has been taught has, has been bad, and I share that agreement with them. The, the problem is that, to a large extent, they have accepted the metaphysics that has led to these consequences. And if you accept that metaphysics, then the only way in which you can bring God into the picture, or even human purposes into the picture, is in a kind of supernatural way. There has to be some sort of intervention. And the, the, the young earth creationists, I think, were, made that quite clear. I mean, the, the, the way they talked about creation was, uh, was contrary to the basic naturalistic spirit of science. It, it required intervention. Now, ID has been more um, careful not to make explicit statements of that time. Nevertheless, the impression I get is that they think that the great majority of what happens in biological events can be fully explained in the reductionistic, materialistic way. And what they're looking for are some extraordinary occurrences in the process that cannot be explained in the same way that the rest of the occurrences can be explained. And that suggests a supernatural intervention into the process. Now, I am sympathetic with the need, and I think they bring up some extremely interesting examples that, from my point, also could not be explained simply by matter in motion. But I don't think any life can be explained by matter in motion. It, I think that's just the wrong metaphysics to use. So I, I think it's far better to correct the metaphysics, that is, the basic way of understanding the nature of reality, and see that God is a part of reality, always, everywhere, and then understand evolutionary thinking as the way that things have developed, both because of, of course, there are quasi-mechanistic features that are also operative everywhere. The present is always shaped by the past, but the present is also shaped by God. And if we think that way, we don't have to hunt around for some extraordinary examples. We find the examples all over the place.